Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, August the 16th. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 105, verse 37 to 45, Acts chapter 6, verse 15 to chapter 7, verse 17, and a canticle from the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verses 1 through 7. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, God led out Israel with silver and gold. Alleluia, Psalm 105. God led out Israel with silver and gold. Among the tribes were none, left be by, were none who fell behind. Egypt rejoiced when they left, for the dread had fallen upon them. You spread a cloud like a screen and fire to give light in the darkness. And when they asked you for food, you set quail and filled them with bread from heaven. You pierced the rock, and water gushed. It flowed in the desert like a river. For you remembered the holy promise which was given to Abraham and Sarah, God's servants. You brought out the people with joy, the chosen ones with shouts of rejoicing. You gave them the land of the nations, and they took the fruit of the labors of others. Thus, that they might keep your precepts, that thus they might observe your laws. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God led out Israel with silver and gold. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, beginning at verse 15. Now all who sat in the council looked intently at Stephen, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. And then the high priest asked him, Are these things so? And Stephen replied, Brothers and fathers, listen to me. The God of glory appeared to our ancestor Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia, before he lived in Haran, and said to him, Leave your country and your relatives and go to the land that I will show you. Then he left the country of the Chaldeans, and he settled in Haran. And after his father died, God had him move from there to his country, in which you are now living. He did not give him any of it as a heritage, not even a foot's length, but promised to give it to him as his possession and to his descendants after him, even though he had no child. And God spoke in these terms that his descendants would be residents, aliens, in a country belonging to others, who would enslave them and mistreat them during 400 years. But I will judge the nations that they serve, said God, and after that they shall come out and worship me in this place. And then God gave them this covenant of circumcision, and so Abraham became the father of Isaac, and circumcised him on the eighth day. And Isaac became the father of Jacob, and Jacob of the twelve patriarchs. The patriarchs were jealous of Joseph and sold him into Egypt. But God was with him, and rescued him from all his afflictions, and enabled him to win favor and to show wisdom when he stood before Pharaoh, who appointed him ruler over all of Egypt and over all of Pharaoh's household. Now there came a famine throughout Egypt and Canaan, and great suffering, and our ancestors could find no food. But when Jacob heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent our ancestors there on their first visit. 
On the second visit, Joseph made himself known to his brothers, and Joseph's family became known to Pharaoh. And then Joseph sent and invited his father Jacob and all his relatives to come to him, 75 in all. So Jacob went down to Egypt, and Jacob himself died there as well as our ancestors. And their bodies were brought back to Shechem and laid in the tomb that Abraham had bought for a sum of silver from the sons of Hamor in Shechem. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Have mercy upon us, O God of all, and put all the nations in fear of you. A prayer for God's people. Have mercy upon us, O God of all, and put all nations in fear of you. Lift your hand against the foreign nations and let them see your might. As you have used us to show your holiness to them, so use them to show your glory to us. And then they will know, as we have known, there is no God but you. Give new signs and work other wonders, and make your hand and right arm glorious. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy upon us, O God of all, and put all the nations in fear of you. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, have you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.